this young kid ended up attempting suicide when he was 20 years old. It's not his fault, though. He wasn't loved or nurtured as a child. He was basically ignored and uncared for. His parents were too busy with other pursuits. And actually, as a youngster, they sent him to a psychiatrist. Let's take a look. Yeah, you know, because I got suspended and everything. They sent you to a psychiatrist? Yeah. But that's crazy. That's all nonsense. That's nothing but a, a racket for the Jews. In line, in bed, Rui. Lithium and Prozac. Tony already has experience with it. He knows what it has done to him already. But by the time it's AJ's turn, so much is going on in Tony's life, and he never really cared about his kid anyway, it's just ignored. Look at Tony. He looks terrible. But he's under the care of a psychiatrist, so he should be all right, right? Let's take a look and see. What my life would be worth if certain people found out I checked into a laughing academy? Your life is boxing us in. Well, I'll take a gun and I'll blow my fucking head off. If that's what you're saying, then I think you should be hospitalized. Oh, yeah? Well, you get a couple guys, you come to my house, you try it. All right. I'm going to push the Prozac to 60 milligrams. Sure, why not? Melfi. Let's just be real, folks. She is a terrible psychiatrist. She's actually the worst. I mean, we love looking at her. We love looking at those beautiful legs. But in reality, she's terrible. What's her answer to her patient? More drugs. And she's, he's already haggard right in front of her face. And let's face it, any psychiatrist who has a psychiatrist really shouldn't be helping anyone else. Am I right, folks? A shrink with a shrink. Hello? One has been involved in a few things in the news lately. I gotta talk to you. What's wrong? There was no Isabella. What? There was no Isabella. I just talked to Cusamano. Him and Cus has just got back from Bermuda. I asked him, where's the dental exchange student that's staying at your house? He looked at me like I was fucking Obats. But you said that your wife saw her, that you both argued about it. Yeah, I asked her about that. And? You thought she was pissed at? You should see her now, now that I told her the whole thing was just a, a fantasy. Discontinue the lithium. I already flushed it. Even she says flush the lithium, but she didn't say anything about the Prozac. She has to keep them on something. Believe it or not, Tony and AJ are just alike.
Who's listening out there? Nobody. Oh, fuck me. Yes, thank you. AJ is depressed because his girl left him. And uh, she is one of the finest chicks on the show. Super duper fine. So AJ is super duper depressed. AJ needs help. I'm fucking depressed, okay? You broke up. How long do you want to cry about? She was my life. You're 20 years old. You barely have a life. My son is talking suicide. So now I'm trapped here forever. My God, what did he say? His girlfriend, fiance, whatever. She broke up with him. He's beyond devastated. Would you like me to recommend someone for him to talk to? Carmela's getting a referral from his old pediatrician. Oh. After that incompetent you said Meadow to? Let's check out AJ and his new psychiatrist. Have you ever tried to kill yourself? No. I mean, once me and my friends jumped off my garage roof, but you know, that was just a fool around. You're sleeping a lot? I'm tired. I keep waking up. Nightmares? I just keep thinking about her. I mean, it hurts, but I can't help it. Does anything in life give you pleasure, Wick? I don't know. Not really. There's a medication called Lexapro. It's an antidepressant. I have friends who take that. Well, I'm going to write you a prescription. This psychiatrist is a bum. And I'm going to show you why. The shrink asked him, AJ, are you sleeping a lot? And AJ says, I keep waking up. So the answer would be no, he's not sleeping a lot. So basically, AJ is an insomniac. He can't sleep. But that's a side effect of Lexapro. So if you give Lexapro to a person who is an insomniac, it's not going to work. It's going to affect him negatively. And let's see what type of negative effects it could have. It may also cause some people to have suicidal thoughts. Well... Didn't he ask AJ if he had suicidal thoughts? And AJ answered in the affirmative. So he gives this guy Lexapro. Folks, we're all fans of The Sopranos. But let's be honest about AJ. He was never a mental case. Season one, was he a mental case? He was a good kid. Season two, good kid. I mean, look, the guy would get in trouble just like any other kid. But he played football. He had fun with his friends. I mean, season three, season four. I mean, he had a girlfriend. I mean, th he was a normal kid. Evan was a fox. AJ was a normal kid. Nothing in the show up to the last part of season six showed us that he was a mental case. And basically, he got the blues because a girl left him. And every young guy that age gets the blues if something like that were to happen. If your first love were to leave you. It's happened to all of us. So, I mean, he took it kind of hard. But if you notice, when he was hanging out with his boys, he was having a good time. He was acting normal. When he committed suicide, or attempted to commit suicide, it was because of the drugs. Lexapro is the culprit here. Now, Tony should know. Tony has been through it. 
Tony shouldn't have let it happen, but let's face it, he's not a good dad. He's not a good dad whatsoever. And frankly, when he was 20 years old in 1980, they didn't medicate young adults like they do today. or They just don't. And they didn't then. So, he didn't go with go through what AJ is going through or went through. He just didn't experience that. And if he did experience it, he might have tried to commit suicide himself. He had no empathy, none, because he hadn't been through it before. Let's take a look at AJ's uh, second session with this no good shrimp shrink again. Thinking about things the way I did. Over and over, you know? Well, for one thing, perhaps the meds are working. Did you finally enroll? That's all doctor. that doctor cares about. Officially, it's my transcript there's from Ramapo. Beginning English. Oh, and I went to a the class meds. on the, the meds. The Israeli the Palestinian meds. Council. Let's see the result of Lexapro on AJ. Look at AJ. He's worse. He looks terrible. Do you ever feel like there's no point to any of this? Why don't you try setting goals for yourself? Maybe you should move out. Right, in my condition? I mean, I can't hold a job. Jesus, AJ, there has to be something you can do. Look, I'm ill, Meadow. And I'm on medication. Millions of people take Lexapro. AJ is caught in that downward spiral. Look at him. Look at that super white complexion. That has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the loss of Blanca. He's in the throes of drug abuse, prescription drug abuse, prescribed by a doctor, Lexapro. And this is the result. Luckily, Tony came home because he would have been a goner. Damn it. Hold on. 
Drugs, man. Drugs. You all right? That's an adverse effect of Lexapro. Come on. Come on, baby. Tony, you wanted to kill yourself too. You said it. Look at him. Well, here we are. I'll get him settled. Good day, Come tomorrow during visiting hours. I love you, sweetie. I love you. I love you too. That's sweetie. drugs. That's not depression. That's drugs. But nobody caught it. And that's a shame. Nobody caught it. Goodbye, AJ. At least at one point, Tony did admit it was all his fault, and he's the cause of all of AJ's problems. Unfortunately, when it was time to do something about it, he did nothing. Blood, this miserable fucking existence. My rotten fucking putrid genes have infected my kid's soul. That's my gift to my son. She says nothing because she knows it's true. Drugs and bad psychiatry. That's what caused AJ's suicide attempt. He wasn't weak. He wasn't that weak. He just needed love understanding, nurturing from his family. And he never got it. It's just that simple. Fucking shit! Seriously, we're, we're, we're both adults here, right? So, after all the shit is done, I still want to complain and to cry and all the fucking bullshit. Is this all there is? The answer is yes. Thanks for watching, folks. Like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can be first in line for my new videos. Have a great day.